I'm a product of Santa Ana um, through and through. I was born and raised in Santa Ana. My family originally migrated here from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. And when they came here in the, in the 50s, um, Santa Ana was a very different city. And so I remember when I found Tupac's book of poetry and his music, um, it was a big part of my inspiration moving forward. When I was a kid, there was one mural in particular, and I would walk past that mural every single day as a kid. High school kids made that mural at a time where gang violence was at its peak. And I was a family that was impacted by gang violence. So when I ran for office, I stood on my truth. Um, I ran against a sheriff at a very difficult time. I leaned on art. And so when I ran for office, that mural was a important part of my everyday understanding of myself and of my neighbors. So when I won that election, I uh, actually had tattooed it right here. And so that goes to show you, you know, the power of art. It, it doesn't ever leave your body, your soul, or, you know, the mind. And so what I see art as now is reauthoring identity. It's, it's narrative therapy for people who are losing their stories. September 28th of 2021, my cousin Brandon was murdered by Anaheim Police Department. He was shot 22 times. And the location where he was murdered, um, less than 25 days after, we had a mural that was uh, put up there by Fernando the artist, the artist who created Victoria Barrow's mural, then created Brandon Lopez's mural. And that's a powerful you know, demonstration of what art is. It is humanizing those have, that have been dehumanized. That's how murals have reflected um, our, our, our stories here today. You can learn so much about a person through art. And I think that's what students need. So I think that Prop 28, what it's going to do is it's gonna create a healthy school climate. It's gonna create one of the healthiest school climates that we've ever seen because kids will be able to express themselves and be accepted. Um, my daughter is an artist today and you know, we have made it a point to nurture her in our, both our home and in social settings and in educational spaces, that art is something we can integrate. So when I look at the Prop 28 impact, knowing that it's going to increase access for children to be able to engage in arts, it, I believe it's going to lead to us seeing more creativity. I believe it's gonna to lead to us seeing higher college attainment rates because that means students will now have access to pathways to higher education. Arts over the last couple of decades has seen you know, active defunding. It's, it's the first time in 34 years that we have seen a significant increase in public education. This is really about filling those gaps. And so if you are a school that does have a tremendous arts curriculum, Prop 28 is designed to help improve and add more to that. Um, if you are a school that has been thinking about adding more arts components to your school, Prop 28 is designed to help do that. It is an investment in young people, it's an investment in workers, and it's an investment in the community.